it's a bad day for uh, for freedom of the press. Uh, you know, this puts a real chill now on the uh, on the ability of journalists uh, to do their job with sources. Many are calling it a dark day for journalism. Today, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled a Vice News journalist must hand over information he obtained about a suspected terrorist to police. The case involved Ben McCoo from Vice News, who managed to get in touch with a suspected Canadian terrorist. We are coming and we will destroy you. McCoo had been talking to Farah Mohamed Sherdan, a former Calgarian who reportedly went overseas to fight for ISIS, and was seen on video burning his Canadian passport and issuing threats to all oppressors. When the RCMP found out, they demanded Vice hand over the correspondences. Vice refused and fought the decision all the way to the Supreme Court. Maku wasn't talking today, but issued this statement over Twitter, saying, I'm profoundly disappointed in today's ruling, not just as an appellant in the case or a reporter, but as a citizen of Canada. It is truly a dark day for press freedom around the globe, at a time where journalism is unquestionably under attack everywhere. O'Hanlon believes today's decision will discourage sources from speaking to media. What source now is going to speak to a journalist knowing that they can now be, uh, uh, their information be handed over to the police? It's a feeling shared by many journalists. This prof agrees the decision will make sources consider silence. People who want to act as whistleblowers or people who don't want to be identified are going to be a lot less willing to talk to journalists than ever before. In their ruling, Supreme Court judges said the society's interest in investigating and prosecuting crimes outweighs freedom of the press. O'Hanlon is afraid police will now see the ruling as an open door into newsrooms. I think they're going to see it's open season. They'll just throw out any request to get uh, journalists' notes, and it's going to be going to the courts again each time to have a judge make the ruling. Those concerns were shared by the NDP. I would not like to that judgment open the door for the police to go into your, uh, you know, your your phone or your computer for uh, absolutely no reason. Uh, we should have a stronger legislation and strong criteria. O'Hanlon says he'll be pushing for stronger legislation, while the government says it will be reviewing the decision. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.